function built aquatics here and today we are showing you our ponds full of build up and I'm going to talk about the plants that we have in here already, the plants that are right here that are going to go in this tank and these little islands. Now let's start off with these plants. All three of these plants are, are sword plants and they will be going in the empty spaces of the ponds. Also we have these islands and these islands are special because they're completely made out of expandable foam. And expandable foam, what that does is it's very annoying when you're trying to get it stuck to the glass so it stay down. So we thought of it, and we thought that maybe it should float. Yeah, so we wanted to do is we wanted to create little floating islands with the expandable foam, and then we put little terracotta pots in the islands of where I can plug in plants. Sort of like if you were a reef enthusiast, sort of the same way you would plug in different frags into different little pockets and holes in your in your man-made live rock we sort of did the same thing here and it also allows us to uh, have coverage for once we put the fish in the fish can actually hide underneath the formations and to keep them from just floating around randomly I used some power pro fishing line and I just basically cut a little hole and I tied them into uh, in, into place so you know, they float around a little bit, but they're not crossing each other and, and, and messing with the uh, uh, the frog bed and everything else and blocking light from the plants. Now, we just put some plants in here from some of our systems, and we put some different Java plants, um, some um, Asiatic-type lily plants, and like Nathan mentioned, we also picked up these recent uh, sword plants that we're going to put in the system. But I'm going to talk about the filtration that we're using. So, Nathan and I are using a airlift sponge filter as you can see right there and we started cycling this filter uh, in the last three days and then on the other side it's just it's just an air stone so what I did was I went with the tetra I went with the tetra pond air pump that is somewhat waterproof I mean it shouldn't be submerged in water um, but can handle being wet and that's running both the, the airlift filter and the air stone. So we're going to show you guys where, where we're going to put these. Plants. Yeah, Nate, why don't, why don't you put um, two pots in the top and one pot down below? And when you Nate, when you lower them in the water, do it real slow so you don't disperse the uh, the substrate. For substrate, we're using the fluorite black substrate, which I thought would be the perfect substrate for what we're doing here. So, slowly lower it down and you're gonna get a little bit of cloudiness from the substrate but uh, in due time that'll clear out you know you got a close to 85 gallons of water in this system so I'm not really so worried about it okay then put the other uh, the other one next to the uh, filter in that corner right there Nate slowly 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 because you that's the one you have the there you go perfect drop it down It's okay. So this is actually a little lily um, that we collected from this one that was doing really small in the, our in our planted ten that we that we just broke down. Yeah, so we'll we'll find a place for that. Why don't you put the uh, put it on the top? Put it inside one of the little terracotta pots. It's in the, in the floater, so I know where it is. In the in the just put it right there. Okay, and put the other Amazon in, dude. Yeah, um, in the back. Put it in the back here near the air pump, so it'll get water flow. So as you as you can see, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get the plants established um, before we put the fish in the setup, which will be we're gonna we're gonna run the first test on the water today, and we're gonna see where the water parameters are. Now my tap water is typically alkaline. So I, I, you know, I would think that the pH is probably somewhere in the low, low sevens. Um, and as you can tell, I also painted the cinder blocks terracotta color to match some of the uh, potting. I have to get two terracotta pots for this side so I can duplicate what we did here. And uh, I used some of the 
black polished river rock that I got from Home Depot. You can get bags of this for five bucks, 30 pound bags for five bucks from Home Depot. Uh, it comes in different colors. I kind of went with the black so it didn't stand out as much. And I use this not only as a border, but also a deterrent to keep my large Dogo Argentino from jumping in here and lighting it. Like she likes to dig the little moles and shrews out of the bed and eat them. And I'm trying to discourage her from doing that in this bed. So as you can tell, we're pretty much up and running. And now all we need to do is uh, get the water parameters where we want to, and then we'll start moving the fish out. Oh, by the way, the temperature of this bin has been running around, maybe you can see it from here. 7.3 to 7. Yeah, around 73 to 75 degrees. So it's been, it's been running perfect temperature-wise. Uh, we haven't had a, a lot of super hot days or bright, bright, super bright sunny days. This only this system only gets light about five hours a day. For the most part, it's shadowed and shaded by my overhang in my backyard. It does a really good job of keeping it uh, uh, from getting blasted with sun all day. So I don't think we'll have a problem with temperatures running in the 90s um, or anywhere near that. If they do, there'll be a slight gradual change in the high 80s, and I believe the fish can handle it. You have anything to say, dude? Yeah, um, the reason why this tank's filled to the rim is because we just got a rainstorm and it was torrential downpouring. So that'll probably evaporate if it doesn't rain again. Yeah, we it was pouring, literally pouring in South Jersey uh, for most of the night last night. And, you know, the system handled it well, the air pump handled it well, and it's still running and everything's good. And it, basically what we did is we did, a, we did an instant natural water exchange with some rainwater, basically like a water change, right, dude? So we're excited. We plan on having the fish in this tank hopefully this weekend once the parameters and the water tests come out right. Probably All right. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Sorry if we, if we haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. We've been really busy. It's been a really busy uh, uh, past week and a half. So this is video number two of Function Build Aquatics, outdoor aquarium tubs, outdoor fish tub, outdoor tropical tub, whatever you want to call it. Here it is. Thanks guys.